Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we'll go over some of the timing controls in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Timing is one of the most fundamental Doodly skills you can have. It's important to keep your videos engaging, but it can be a little frustrating at times too. I thought I'd go over timing basics with you today to help you make your videos a little bit more engaging and to get rid of some of that frustration. First thing to keep in mind is that Doodly has some default timings for everything. By default, all objects and characters come on for three seconds each. And you'll see that here. So my little character, three seconds, and all my little objects are three seconds. Text comes on at 1.5 seconds. And that doesn't matter if you have a long paragraph of text or just one word, it's always 1.5 seconds. And then of course, all of your scenes have a half a second in between them. So when you transition between scenes, it's only a half second. So if we were to look at this scene, which is all at the default, here's what we'd have. One and a half seconds there, three seconds for the gears, three seconds for my clock, one and a half seconds for each of these numbers, and then three seconds for my character. That totals up to 13 seconds for a little title scene that maybe we only wanted on the screen for four seconds, okay? So what do we do about that? Well, you can control them over here individually, or you could control them all at once collectively. Let's start with individually. So I felt like he went too fast on this part. So I'm going to slow that down a little by adding, say, half a second. And then let's look at the text. We're working on text right now. One and a half seconds to write the number one was way too long. So I could change that to half a second, let's say. And then to write the number 29, let's just go for one second. And let's see how this is starting to shape up. So I thought the title was okay. And then for the numbers, let's see. And the numbers are fine. So then you would want to adjust your objects. I felt like it takes way too long to draw this clock on. So if I wanted to do them all two seconds, I would command or control click, depending on if you have Mac or Windows, to select them all at once. And then right click, choose settings. And right here, you can just tell it duration, two seconds and apply. And that changed them all at once. So we now have a shorter scene, which is 10 seconds long. So that's one approach. Here's another approach. You could go down here and shrink everything down or extend it, depending if you want it longer or shorter. Let's say we want it to be six seconds long. Now this adjusts everything, okay? And let's see how it looks. It might be a little bit too of a mishmash, but let's see. So really the only thing that I object to is this was a little too fast. I can change that individually. I can make that longer. Or there's no rule here saying everything has to draw. So maybe I'm gonna just make that zero. And now I've got five seconds and then these things can draw. So let's take a look. Okay, it's getting a little bit closer. I would say the same thing for the gear. It doesn't need to draw and even the clock doesn't need to draw. So now let's look. And what happened here is only the important things actually got drawn, something that I wanted to draw attention to. I wanted to draw attention to time. So the clock, the time, and then the guy. So that's another approach that you could do. Let's go ahead and delete this scene. And let's use a pre-built scene. And I just want to show this to you as an example, because look, it's 40 seconds long. 
and is it necessary to draw the coat hanger and all these little details in the umbrella and whatnot? Probably not. So again, you can select them all. I'll just show you one more time. Settings, zero, apply. And then now you can put whatever emphasis you want. Maybe you're gonna bring a character in here and you want all the emphasis on the character. So you put her in, and now if you look at it, the only thing that's drawing on is our character. Now this is all pretty straightforward and not that frustrating. So why was I saying it's frustrating? Let's go to another video that I have. And I have this video, if we take a look at it, I have some sound effects and camera movements. So it's drawing on my guy, taking a little bit of time. Oh, there's my sound effect, there's my camera movement. And then there's another sound effect and another camera movement, okay? So all that's fine, except for I'm thinking this guy took way too long to draw on and so did this uh, stopwatch. So if I make an adjustment to my guy here, let's say I make him two seconds, you might have noticed my sound effects and camera movements did not move with it. So if I hit preview, it's going to be off. So this first one's probably not a big deal, but my buzzer comes in too late, right? So that can get frustrating, especially if you have lots of scenes and you make a change down here at the beginning, everything down here at the end is affected. And that's the part that I'm saying can be a little bit frustrating. So I have to move all of these things down by one second and then it'll be back in sync. That's fine if you have one or two, you can just drag and drop them over one second. But if you have a whole bunch downstream from here, that's you're going to be doing a lot of dragging and stuff. Fortunately, Doodly has addressed that. Let's start with the sound. You right click, click timing, and you're going to have to do the math. Remember, I said it was one second, so I know I have to take one second away. So I want this to be 4.2, and then I want to enable automatic shifting and hit apply. And what that's going to do is it moves everything. Okay, so now this moved one second over, as did my buzzer sound. I need to do the same thing up here for my camera effects. So right click, timing, and I want this instead of being 5.44 seconds, I want it to be 4.44 seconds. Enable shifting and watch both of these will move. And now my scene is back in sync. Okay, so that's back in sync. Now in this example, I had already added eight and a half seconds to the end of this scene and that's fine. But I want to show you what happens with the default setting here. So let's create a new scene. I'm just going to add some text. So let's say this is our scene and then let's have another scene. So on our original scene, it has a half a second by default here, extra time. And then it's going to have a swipe left animation. That's the default. Well, what happens? when we watch it. So here comes my scene. It immediately swipes away. And while that's okay for a short word like hello, let's make this a little longer. So let's say this is our scene now, okay? Watch what happens. Okay, so this will be a little bit more normal. I'd still make it slower, but Here's what I want to show you. It swipes away right after this final text. And 
first of all, it's not enough time to even really understand what was written there. And then if you have a phone number or something, nobody has time to write it down. So you need to go to scene settings and add that extra time. My preference in general, I like to go two seconds after everything. Uh, for something like this with the phone number, I would add a little bit more time. In this example here, I would probably even switch this like so, so that I have even more time for this phone number. So now if we look at it, I have more time to absorb the message. And that's the basics of adjusting timing in Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.